thought I'd show you uh, what I've done so far. I know I don't have as much as tea mutter, but it, it kind of wore me out a little bit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, uh, here we go. Uh, this is the uh, Fatali and uh, the Nagamorich. Tiny little guys, but I did bury the stems. They're a lot taller than that. Um, but Todd told me to bury the stems because I guess they root from the stems when you bury them. These are the tie hots and uh, yeah, they're moving along. I mean, boy, they're the slowest growing ones I've ever seen. I don't know why. I can't wait for those though. Be a big old bush. That's why I put them in a big pot. And I put a little decoration light in there. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Put them in most of the other plants. And this is a new Maruga scorpion that I got. And it is, let's see, this one. Yeah, it's got some buds on it. It doesn't have flowers yet, but got some buds. And uh, that's, I don't know why this camera always is blurry on the text. But just so you know, I'm not joking with you guys. <laughs> and this is the butch tea. And boy, they're just doing fantastic. And another Maruga right there. And then this is the Maruga I got yesterday. I got three of them yesterday. And this is one of them. And look what we got there, huh? You like that? Oh boy, these are going to put out pods faster than these ones because these are the first ones I got. And uh, these are just blank white buckets, so you can tell. Those are the first ones on my other video. Another Maruga. And it's got a couple of flowers back in there. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy, I should have pods real soon. Um, this is a Nagamorich. And I just moved it to the five-gallon bucket because I had it looking pretty good. But it was pretty tall, actually. It's a good... Oh, eight inches. So figured I might as well just bury the stem and put her in the in its final resting place there. And uh, just planted the fatale. Uh, well, the same time I planted these other ones, but it's not looking too good. But I guess this is just transplant shock, is what I've been told. So I gave it a little bit of water, and we'll see how that. Uh, <laughs> how that turns out and I don't have a place for anything in this one yet um, they're too small so I'm gonna wait until they get a little bit bigger and uh, here we got another Fatale uh, I guess this pots big enough I we will see how it does I, I could see I could see it growing pretty big in this pot and another Nagamorich and that's a pretty good sized pot so I'm not uh, not too concerned about the size of these. I think they'll do just fine. And, uh, well, uh, that's what I got so far, guys. And, uh, hope to, uh, hope to have a really hot summer. So, there's the view. And, uh, thanks for watching, guys. And I can't believe these dogs have been so good with the plants. I, usually my boxer, he'll, uh, <laughs> What are you doing, Tyson? He'll uh, reach his arm through the fence and actually try to destroy my plants. But I think the fly swatter taught him different. <laughs> he knows better now. Right, guys? Lexi. Lexi, what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Yeah. Freaking $1,500 dog right there. Purebred chocolate lab. She's got all her papers and everything. Champion bloodlines. <laughs> but she's travel size. I don't get it. I, I thought she'd be a lot bigger than that. But she's full grown. And <laughs> What are you guys doing? Huh? You guys are being so good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'll always have a boxer. I really do. I I just love the breed, and they're really easy to train. Believe it or not, um, I I thought they were hard to train. You know, 
but reading on the website and everything, I guess they're real easy to train. They, they follow what you, they listen to you. They're just kids their whole life. That's the whole thing, you know. So, all right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you on the next video.